Nothing to see here. Yes, this is much better. Hello and welcome to Car Throttle. My name is Alex and in this video I'm going to find out what life is like driving the Citroen Ami Quadricycle. We're going to take it for some food and we're going to do some shopping but first let's go for a drive. <laughs> hey, Jesus Christ. Make sure the door's closed. So one of the benefits of having such a small motor vehicle is you want to go shopping, it's raining. It's not raining, picture the scene. Where to park? Don't want to park outside with the plebs, but look, there's a trolley park. I reckon we can just whack it straight in and then off to the shop we go. First time it, go on, go on, go on, go on. Look at this, oh, it's brilliant. Excellent, excellent. Ah. Right then, let us find out what a Citroën Ami is like to drive, like to live with in a uh, city environment. We are in the glorious British city of Coventry. If you're not from the UK, don't visit Coventry. I lived here for a while, so I'm qualified to say it. Apologies to anyone from the Midlands who does live in Coventry. My thoughts are with you and your family. Anyway, first impressions of this little city car. It's very noisy, very echoey. I do have great visibility though. One thing, I don't have a uh, uh, central mirror, which is quite annoying. Also, the indicators don't self-cancel. No airbags, no speakers, no electric windows, no radio, no central locking. The seats, although they do look super uncomfortable, they're not too bad. I mean, I could probably do 10 or 15 minutes in here and not complain. There is literally no power. I'm doing VMAX at the moment. 45 kilometers an hour, which works out to around 26 miles an hour. Under its floor sits a 5.5 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery that powers an eight horsepower motor. 0 to 60 never happens because it's got a top speed of 28 miles an hour, meaning that if you do get a speeding ticket in a 30 zone, you'll be able to wear it as a badge of honor. Gets off the line quite quickly and then it just dies down. The handling is pretty good. It changes direction nice and quickly. The steering, very light. There is no power steering, but this thing only weighs 425 kilos. It's something like the Renault Twizy with no doors and it's a lot thinner. You do feel at risk a lot more, but here it's all right. I mean, I feel like I'm in a car. I'm going to go for an overtake. I can just keep my foot flat to the floor and know that I'm not going to break the law. Come on. Maybe we can get to 47. Go on, go on. 46. There's Ethan. He looks impressed. Stay low. Try and be as aerodynamic as possible, like I'm on a motorbike. But I mean, it's a car that you can get in and just instantly know how to drive it. You've got three buttons here, drive, neutral, reverse. You've got two pedals and one handbrake. Uh, little else you need to know apart from that. It is like, an upscale go-kart. If you have a look underneath as well, it's all box section. Quality of materials. I mean, there is no quality to the materials, but a vehicle like this is designed to be hardy, to be used by lots of people. It's a car that you'd rent for, I don't know, 20 minutes if you're in central London, you didn't want to take the tube or you didn't want to take an Uber. You wake up in the morning, you just find one outside your house. It gets you from A to B, you don't need to use your legs and you don't need a driver's license. Now you can drive these at 17 in the UK, uh, 14 in France, because apparently French people more mature. The camera car is actually getting away from us. I am foot flat to the floor. I can't go any faster. We're losing speed going uphill. I'm holding up traffic. Do you know what? I don't care. I really don't care because I am actually genuinely having quite a good time. I don't feel too at risk of the elements. I feel quite secure. I feel safe. It's noisy in here, which is a little bit annoying. But if you're just doing little journeys, it's perfect. You can plug it in at home. You can plug it in where you like. All you need is a three pin socket. Three hours, you've got a full charge, which gives you 43 miles. Now, things I don't really like are the position of the steering wheel, which you I don't think you can move. No, I've had a good old feel around. You can't move the steering wheel, but it is a bit like a one size fits all car. It is effectively the, the condom of the motoring world. Another thing I've noticed as well, when you're trying to turn a corner quite quickly, you lean over. There's nothing to actually brace yourself against. Jesus Christ. 
But hey, it is fun, it's quirky, it's cheap motoring, and it's electric, which is good for the environment. Anyway, let's find out how practical the Citroen Ami is, because there's quite a lot of space in here. Oh, and I see another trolley park. I'm gonna have to, uh, obviously, get the car in there, because I want to protect the, uh, protect the bodywork as much as possible. The turning circle is very good. Loads of space on that side. Butt it up against there. Lovely jubbly. In we go. Perfect. With the Ami now safely nestled in its designated parking spot, I sent my trusted assistant into the shop to purchase an item that would help demonstrate the quadricycle's favourable interior space. What does he need? Stilts. That'd be quite annoying. That would be annoying. <laughs> that's, a, that's not bad. <laughs> I can be me and him. We're both of us. Well, we proved with the Twizzy that you can put a tree in there. So maybe we have to do the same for this. I think it would be annoying to have this back there. Also, the sunroof doesn't open, so there's no yeah. way. You'd have to fold that in half. Yeah. What about this one? This one's got a bit more height, doesn't it? That one would be more annoying. I think you want girth. Do you? Let's get loads of these, because they look sparky. What about this? Bamboo. How much is it? 32. It's a bit out of budget. You've got to be kidding me. That's not going to fit in. Just bamboo. You like bamboo? I do like bamboo. Yeah. Not in the car. It's massive. Yeah, it's quite big. It's really big. It's quite big. Oh, look at the turning circle. Oh, not quite. Commodious. I'll put that down there. That all right like that? Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Luckily, fabric is a very hardy plant. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. That's perfect. perfect. It actually sort of adds to sort of the feng shui as well. I do, I do get what you mean. It does yeah. add a certain something. Impracticality yeah, yeah, is the yeah, word yeah, I'm yeah. looking yeah, for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not feng shui. And you've still got your luggage space free. Yep. And the passenger can still sit there. Very good. So I think that's a, uh, a big old tick for the uh, Citroen Ami. You can turn it into a greenhouse. Right, so while we parked up, Ethan insisted that he do a little bit of a walk around review. So uh, <laughs> Ethan's got some things that he'd like to say about the Citroen Ami. It's quirky. Good quirky. It's good quirky. When I first saw you, when we were driving into this car park and you were sat in it, it looked like you were sitting in the back. Interestingly, um, actually, the, the front and rear, same panels. Really? Yeah. And the doors as well, the same panels, which is why this door opens that way and that door opens conventionally. So the driver's side, suicide. Ethan, you had some clever things to say about the car, so well, out, Alex, out with it. Thank you for asking. I, I would say this is like the modern day 2CV. Why would you say that? Well, lightweight, stripped back, small. Yep. Also a Citroen. <laughs> Very good, yeah. Also French. There's actually one design element on this that's similar to a 2CV. Do you want to guess what it is? Design element. The wing mirror. No. Ah. Oh. Something to do with the doors. The the window. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. If you want to buy one outright, you're looking at six thousand pounds. Do you think that's quite affordable? I'd have this over a bike. Would you? Yeah. Ah, uh -huh. a bicycle or a motorbike? A motorbike. Oh, okay. That's the good thing about this is that you're never going to get a speed ticket. Unless you're in a twenty doing twenty-eight miles. Oh, an are hour. there cameras in twenties? I don't know. Someone go figure it out. If you get a ticket, unlucky. This is more of a kind of renting it if you're in a city, you don't want to take an Uber. You can hop into one of these and you can rent it for as little as one minute. Currently not in the UK, okay. but they are in France. One criticism, actually, you're struggling with that. Yes, they're very hard. Very hard. Mm. My mum would not be able to get in and out of this bloody thing because you really do mm. have to ah, give it some. Maybe it's a security feature. People with small thumbs not allowed in. <laughs> is this what journalists normally do? They sort of work it out. Oh no, they would as they go along. Yeah, no, they'd, they'd figure it out before. They'd read the press pack. Oh, we, there was one of those, wasn't there? Yeah, but we're not journalists, so we're not going to do that. I like this bit, this luggage area, because you've got loads of space there and you can you can put something there. Yeah? Like what? What would you put down there? Uh, you could put your child there. Okay. It is weird being that far back from that windscreen. And that seat doesn't move. 
Oh, so you're always going to be a bit ahead? Yeah. Okay. Well, no, I mean, if you're shorter, you will be ahead. Oh, right, right. I'm, I'm sure most people would have their seats back. Well, yeah, cut that bit. We don't need to worry about my height. But yeah, I mean, it's very like Lego style. You've got um, these pull action um, rope things to open the door. So it's lightweight, just like a um, Porsche 911 GT3. But if you crash, the marshals wouldn't be able to get in because you can't undo those locks. You can't, can't do, yeah. open the locks, yeah. no. You'd be stuck in here. Were you doing the Citroen Ami racing series? Yeah. <laughs> Make it happen, Citroen. We want to see it. Oh, that's clever as well. So you can put your cable okay. through that hole. So, uh, Citroen, um, can we get a long termer? Ethan would like to use one as a long termer. I wouldn't be able to even drive to you. Well, you said you'd be happy with it. Are you happy with it or not happy with I'd it? I'd be very happy with okay. it. Thank you, Citroen. With Ethan now booted out of the Ami and my beloved bamboo back in, it was time for lunch. And obviously, we want a healthy lunch, which is why I'm going to McDonald's. I would go through the McDonald's backwards because then I'd be on the right side. But remember the last time I did that, I got shouted at by a McDonald's lady. I'm not allowed to drive around the drive through like that way. Oh, my apologies. Even though there are no signs that say you can't drive through backwards. Just, just saying, all right? Do I need to talk to you? Yeah, What kind of good chicken do you have? You got some tasty chicken. I'm counting macros at the moment. So I can't actually see the menu because I have a tree. So that went well. Ordering, no problem. Oh, I can't actually see the curb. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna hit anything? No idea. Oh. Hello. Hello. Do you like my car? Very nice. Yeah. Let me just. Ah. Perfect. Do I do I go now? Uh, okay. Are you the man from Carpool? I could be. Who's asking? Um, a friend. Okay. This is a Citroen Ami. Do you like it? It's a wicked. Why do you want Uh, because Ethan bought me a present. Congratulations. Thank you. I like your car as well. Wonderful. Yeah. Take it easy. Thank you very much. Goodbye. What a lovely young man. Right. Speaking of lovely young men, do we have one here? Hold on. Hello. This is going to get complicated, isn't it? Oh, look. Can we do it one at a time? We might have to just slip it through the crack. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, is that going to fit through? Oh, look at that. It was made for it. Do you like my car? Yeah. Perfect. Thank you very much. Have a lovely day. That was easy. Right, into drive and away we go. Bye bye. Even though it's left hand drive and even though the windows only open a crack, you can go through a drive through. No issues whatsoever. Job jobbed, let's eat. Right, so while we're still in a McDonald's car park, I know a lot of you 14 year olds in France and 17 year olds in the UK will be wondering, can you do a handbrake turn in a Citroen Ami? So in the name of proper journalism, I'm gonna find out. All right, gotta always check for police. This is a McDonald's car park. They will be around. Let's see how well the Ami does a handbrake. Tree optional. Here we go. Oh, wow. That's really good. That's excellent. That's a pass. It's a big fat pass. With that bit of consumer advice ticked off, it was time once again to hit the road to explore the benefits of the Ami's diminutive size. Coventry city centre, not the uh, best places to be driving cars around. Quadricycles, not sure. What with it being electric, should be all right. I actually used to go to Coventry University. Automotive journalism, there's also automotive design, which is what Coventry Uni is uh, more famous for. Yeah, boy. Oh, I just got papped. I bet I'm gonna be on TikTok. Oh, this is so irritating. Do you know what? I actually do quite like the Ami in town. This is just a great little vehicle to go exploring. Where you couldn't take normal cars, you can take this, no problem. Straight in, and then I could just leave it here and hide it. Urban adventuring. Like parkour, but in a car. Car car. Right, there's loads of road blockages and stuff, but I do know a few shortcuts. So let's duck it down here. It says no cars, but I'm not a car, I'm a quadricycle. Should be all right. No one's noticed. Nothing to see here. Oh, there's a bollard. Let's turn around. So this is blocked, that's blocked. There's one more way for me to get out. And it doesn't say no cars allowed, which is good. Up we go. Nice and silent. No one will be the wiser. Yes. This is much better. We have to remain silent 
stealth mode. Just hide behind my tree. And emerge victorious out the other side. Yes, excellent. There is nothing that the Citroen Ami cannot do. Another benefit of the Ami is that you can park it however you like, a bit like the original smart car. You don't need to go in sideways. I'm gonna go in front ways. In he goes, ish. Done, am I good? Yeah. I'm good. Everyone's loving it. This is everyone's Ami. <laughs> friend means friend of French. You're welcome. Gotta take the inside line. Yes, I'm catching up. I'm catching up. Oh, can't see. Is that a car there? I think that's a car there. There's a tree in the way. The more I drive it, the more I enjoy it, the more I actually understand why it does work in an environment like this. It's quirky, it's fun to drive. And if there are any roadblocks or anything, you just, just take the underpass. It's brilliant. Sorry, officer. I'm not in a car, I'm in a quadricycle. It's like a big mobility scooter. Good, clean, fun. Well done, Citroen Ami. Just give me a mirror. And self-cancellating indicators, please. Right, so there you have it. Living with a Citroen Ami, a car built for this city. It's an awesome little thing. I'm super happy to have driven it today. And I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching this episode. If you have, then make sure you subscribe to the channel by clicking on this link. And don't forget to check out more car throttle videos over there. Have a great week from the Citroen Ami and I. Goodbye. Ah, oh, shit, wrong side. Ugh. Yeah.